Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial, my name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over part 16 in the Project FPS tutorial series. So in the last part we went ahead and we got the blood working when we hit an enemy. So if I press P here and we reload, if you shoot, you'll notice that there's bullet holes and blood coming out of where we've shot the enemy. Also we added bullet holes for the normal ground impacts, so again if you haven't already watched that tutorial, go ahead and check it out so you'll be up to date. But apart from that, we'll go straight on into this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be going over the aiming down the sight mechanism. So basically what this is, is just allowing the player to look down the sights of the gun and have a more accurate way of shooting. So the first thing I'm going to do is select uh, this over here, my gun spawn. Then I'm going to move this window up here and I'm going to add myself a new game property. This here I'm going to call ADS, all in caps, and then over here I'm going to choose integer. Now the reason we're not just using true or false is basically because we need one state when we're not aiming down the side, like it is currently. We need another state when it's playing the animation, and then we need a third state when you are aiming down the sights. So anyway, also I'm going to go down here and check the eye so I can see it in the top left hand corner. Then what I'm going to do is move this down a bit, and then go over here and make myself a new script. This here I'm going to call ads.py and then I'm gonna go let's just say to change and copy and paste this first line so go back to ADS control V to paste and we won't need scene we'll just need import BGE alright so to get this to work we obviously need a Python controller so add that in call it ADS and then over here we're gonna add ourselves a mouse this is going to be the right button on a true pulse We'll join that in there. Then also what we'll do is select the R key, put that in there as well, and the always. We want that in there as well. All right, so those are the three things we need in this side. The actuators will be the animations, uh, which we'll plug in and do a little bit later. But just for now, we'll go in here and choose ads.py. So in here, I'm just going to type in sensors as a comment and then quickly import in our sensors. So before I do that, let's call this aim and then we can import in it in here. Aim is equal to cmt.sensors aim. Oh, bit of a problem there. All right. Uh, we also want to import in R key. Sensors R key. And then also we need to, I think that is all for the sensors, but we need some properties. So let's go ahead and import in equipped. Oh, equipped with two P's is equal to C -O or not C -O T, just own equipped. Then timer as well, we'll import in own timer. And then on top of that, change uh, is equal to own change and then also if we scroll down here reload we want it, we don't want to be able to aim down the site while you're reloading uh, reload and then also what else do we need grenade smoke ADS we'll need to import in as well own ADS alright so I think that should be it now what we're gonna do is start typing the if statements so if aim dot positive and r key r key dot positive is equal to false so basically we haven't pressed reload and equipped equipped is equal to two so i'm going to be doing the glock aiming down the site first and timer is equal to zero and um, what else do we want and change is equal to false and reload is equal to false oh. and ADS is equal to zero alright so in here just as a comment to tell me what it is I'm going to type in um, from hip fire to ADS fire so basically from the hip all the way to aiming down the sights so that is why we have zero here then I'm going to do a colon and press enter and just type in uh, own ADS plus what is equal to one and that should be enough to trigger our timer here so I'm going to press enter and then if ADS 
uh, is equal to 1 and timer is less or greater than actually no less than uh, however long we want our animation to be so I'm gonna say 10 frames so less than 10 uh, and I think that should be all we need so let's just put that there if it's equal to 1 and the timer is less than 10 own timer plus what is equal to 1 alright so that will keep adding on until the timer is equal to 10 then if ADS is equal to 1 and timer is equal to 10 also one more thing I forgot we need to add and aim dot positive so we have to be holding down aim the whole time for this to follow through positive alright and then what else do we need own timer that should be fine in here we want to change ADS again once the timer is the maximum own ADS plus what is equal oh not ADW ADS alright is plus what is equal to 1 so now our ADS will be equal to 2 by this point here we should have uh, aiming down the sights done so in this next section here I'm going to do from ADS fire to hip fire uh, now also here I'm going to do uh, Glock because both of these are only for the Glock um, and then if aim dot positive is equal to false and equipped is equal to 2 and timer is equal to 0 and change is equal to false now actually we don't actually need these here uh, because chances are you won't be able to do them while you're doing this anyway so what we're gonna do uh, timer won't be equal to 0, timer will be equal to 10 and then let's just at the end here let's just put and ADS is equal to uh, 2 so that should be everything we need just checking we have Glock equipped the timer is equal to this here and ADS is equal to 2 so now what we want to do is again assign ADS uh, minus what is equal to 1 uh, and then down here if ADS is equal to 1 and timer is equal to, uh, well greater than greater than 10 and aim dot positive is equal to false that last part is important otherwise it will contradict with these statements then what we want to do is type in own timer plus what is equal to 1 alright and basically what that will do is it will set it back to 1 uh, if that's true then this will keep going and timer will get minus so then what we'll do is type in if basically if ADS is equal to 1 and timer is equal to 0 and aim dot positive is equal to false own ADS ADS and we want to assign that uh, minus what is equal to 1 so it's at 0 we're gonna go ahead and test that out hopefully I haven't missed anything um, yep that should be good cool so what I'm gonna do is press P you'll see ADS in the bottom left hand corner then it'll go to 2 and 1 but it hasn't gone down to 0 what have we done here? We're minus 1 when timer is equal to 0 ah we're adding one here so remove 1 from the timer let's try that again alright right click 2 let go and we're still stuck on 1 so let's go ahead and oh I think I know what it is I've got a space here right that was it hopefully right click we'll go to 2 let go and we're still stuck on 1 so let's go ahead and go to the system console see if there's any problems that there don't seem to be we don't want the timer to be greater than 10 we want it to be uh, greater than 0 so let's try that out again right click 2 let go 0 there we go so now it's working correctly you'll notice the timer switches between 10 and nothing which is good so there we go that's the mechanic done now we'll get on to the animation so let's go to layer 2 uh, go over to the Glock select all the parts then press M and move to layer 1 go over to layer 1 uh, and then we'll select our rig here go over to dope sheet and then scroll along 
So now we can rename this to uh, Glock ADS. All right, and then click the F to save it twice. Then um, I think that should be fine. Basically, we want to delete everything except for the first keyframe, which is already selected. So we can just press X and delete and keep the first keyframe. So now what I'm going to do is go over to pose mode, select the gun bone here, press Alt R to get rid of the rotation. Move it down so you can see what I'm doing. And then what I'm going to do is select the main body. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go select this, go out of edit mode, I mean pose mode, select this, shift S, cursor to selected, uh, select the main body, shift S, selection to cursor, hold down shift, select the gun spawn, control P, and parent. All right, so now that should be there we go, aligning with the hands, which is great, so number head zero. And basically what we want to do is animate it going towards uh, the middle of the camera. And then what we want to do is on frame 10, we want to, yeah, move it to the middle of the screen. So let's go over to pose mode, select the two main bones here that move, hold down shift, select the gun bone, this one here, and then we want to basically just move it. So G to move, then what we want to do is press numpad 3. As you can see here on the camera, we have these two lines crossing each other. Now basically what that means is that the ray for shooting uh, comes from this point right here. So if we cover up that point with this gun, that means we can't shoot because the ray will just be hitting the gun and it won't work properly. So what we need to do is move it just below uh, that point and yep, so just to make sure I can see it, I'm going to hide this and this. I will go to texture view, and you can see you just want to keep the this part here below this here. So let's go ahead and select our bones again. Make sure they both move. This one doesn't. There we go. And the gun bone as well. All right, and I'm going to press number zero. Um, go over to global, and then choose RY. Rotate it on the Y axis. Bring it down, RZ. Let's just center it. Uh, number three. And we just want to move it up like that. So I'm just going to move it like so, RY. All right, and there we go. That's looking very nice. All right, so just below it like that. Cool, so that is looking fine. What I'm also going to do is get this, or his arms, and move them outwards. Also the shoulder back a bit. And do the same for the other side. Just move it in a bit. All right, and this one out. Oh, not too far. All right, that should be good. Numpad zero, and that looks fine. Cool, so maybe we want to bring it in a little bit. All right, so once you're happy with that, make sure you're on frame 10. A to select everything, or A to deselect. A to select everything. I and insert location rotation. And so now, he should aim down the sights, like so. So numpad zero, so we can see what he's doing. And there we go. So that might be a little bit too close for you. So let's go to frame 10 and actually just move it back a bit. So select this as well, GX, and just move it in. All right, so maybe that's a bit more suitable. All right, cool. So select everything. I insert location rotation again. And so now he'll aim like so. Cool, so we have that part done. Now what we want to do is add a recoil animation as well. Obviously when you're aiming down the sight you'll be shooting, but we don't want to be playing the same recoil animation from the side because that just won't match up. So what we're going to do over here is click the plus, make another animation, click the F again, and choose Glock underscore ADS underscore recoil. And now this frame here we don't need, so A to deselect, control K, X and delete. Obviously this is all in the new animation we just made. So this one here. And then what I'm gonna do is select the current one. So up arrow to go to the next keyframe, control K. And let's just move it down back to frame zero. So number three, make sure that's underneath, which it is, which is good. So I'm gonna select uh, these over here. And basically our recall animation is gonna be the same length as the other recall animation. So this one here, 
there we go, five frames long. So let's go back to ADS recoil and then press Shift D to duplicate and move it five frames. There we go. Then on frame one, we're going to basically have the recoil happen. So numpad zero, select both of those, uh, the main hand bones, select the gun bone as well, RY to rotate, rotate it up a bit, you'll notice something weird happens with the arms, but it doesn't matter, we can fix that later. Uh, I'm going to move it backwards as well, towards the player, and then move it down a bit. So, something like that. Now we need to press numpad 3, and you can see it's over the cross, which is bad, so let's go ahead and press RY and just bring it down a little bit. Numpad 3, and we can, I guess, bring it all the way up to around there. Cool, there we go. So I am happy with that. So I'm going to select everything. I insert location rotation. So there we go. Cool. So now you'll notice that on frame one, though, this finger might be in the way slightly. So if you want to, you can try, I don't know, rotate it out of the way, if that works, just for that one frame. Um, but yeah. Also, what I'm going to do is try and rotate this inwards, um, just so it's getting a bit of grip. But apart from that, I think that should be good. Cool. So we have our recoil and our ADS animation. So now what we can do is go back into object mode, uh, select this here, Alt P to clear the parent, uh, and then Z to go into wireframe, select all the parts and then press M and move to layer 2. Alright, so now what we want to do is select the gun spawn again, change this over here into text editor, and we want to start playing our animations. So before we can do that, we need to add them in here. So under the player rig, add two actions. This one here we'll call Glock underscore ADS. This one under here we'll call Glock underscore ADS underscore recoil. Then in here we'll choose Glock ADS and in here we'll choose Glock ADS recoil. Now for the Glock ADS we want it to be flipper and this here will turn off continue. This one ends at 5 and this one ends at 10. Alright, so one important thing we have to do here is we have to turn up the priority say to 3 for this one and turn up the priority to 2 for this one. The most important thing is, this number always has to be smaller than this number. So one very important thing, make sure the priority of the ADS recoil is uh, less than the priority of the Glock ADS. Basically this means that the uh, ADS recoil will override the Glock ADS, which is what we want, so we can actually see the animation being played. So regardless, I'm going to add a little bit of blending to both and then I'm going to go ahead and join the Glock ADS to the ADS uh, Python controller. Now the Glock ADS recoil actuator I'm going to join to the Python shoot controller so that one there and then we'll go ahead and sort of configure that later. Alright so just working with the Glock ADS here I'm going to bring this down. So over here when this is sort of triggered what we want to do is type in cnt.activate uh, and then ADS. Nope, not ADS. We haven't actually imported in the animation. So let's put animations and then import them in. So Glock, what was it called? Um, let's have a look here. Glock ADS. So Glock underscore ADS is equal to cmt dot actuators uh, Glock ADS. There we go. Alright, and so that one's in. Now I guess we can put the M24 later. So I'm going to leave a line for that. And then in here, cnt.activate Glock underscore ADS. And close that off. And also over here, I'm going to press tab and then type in cnt.deactivate uh, Glock underscore ADS. Alright. So press enter to give us some space, but I think that should be about it. So let's go ahead and test that by itself. So press P. All right, reload. And we're not getting the animation. So I have a feeling we've done something wrong. Let's go over to the console 
and line 18. And I've misspelt it. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. ADS and ADS. Awesome. So we have that working. So now what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to add in the shooting animation. So I'm going to press numpad 0, and then I'm going to move this up here, and let's go ahead to the shooting over here. So move this down, go over to shoot.py, and within here we're going to edit the shooting. So Glock shooting, um, let's put underneath an ADS shooting section. So uh, pound symbol or hashtag and then you can put a comment or whatever so ADS Glock shooting and enter if uh, I guess we just copy and paste all this so if that is equal to that now one more thing we have to do is at the start of the script we have to check ADS see what that is equal to so ADS is equal to own ADS alright and then down here for the normal Glock shooting, at the end we want to add and ADS is equal to zero. And then down here for the ADS Glock shooting, we want to go ahead and add and ADS is equal to two. So this is making sure we're aiming down the sights as well, whereas over here we're not. So let's go ahead and select all this, Control C to copy, and click in here paste, control V to paste, so uh, that should all be fine. We want to activate the Glock ADS recoil animation though, so let's also import that in. Glock uh, ADS AD, uh, underscore recoil is equal to comnt dot actuators and then Glock ADS recoil. Alright, so that one is done. Now what we're going to do is put that in there, so comnt.activate glock underscore ads underscore recoil and then also the rest of it should be fine. This over here we need to make sure that and ads is equal to 0 then down here and ads is equal to 1, I mean 2 and then instead of deactivating the same uh, animation here, we want to deactivate ADS recoil. So Glock underscore ADS underscore recoil. Alright, so if I've done everything right, that should be it. So I'm going to press P and reload, and there we go. We have our animation as well, which is great. Cool. Um, the only problem I think is when we aim down the sight, the gun seems a little bit far away, so maybe we'll pull that in a little bit. And then also the recoil animation has a strange sort of arm artifact in the bottom left hand or bottom right hand corner. So let's go ahead and change that. So select this, go over to the dope sheet. So let's go back to layer two. Z in wireframe, select all the gun parts, M, and move to layer one. And we'll do what we did before, so select this, go into pose mode, alt R, get rid of the rotation, object mode, and then shift S, cursor to selected, then this, shift S, selection to cursor, hold down shift, control P, and parent. Alright, so hopefully that should be where it is before. Now what I'm going to do is go to pose mode, select both of these, and the gun bone as well. So they're all moving at once. And what I might do is just bring it down a bit. So maybe something like that. Uh, rotate it down a little bit. And then move it in towards the player a bit more. So something like that. Number three. Make sure we are in the right sort of view. I'm going to straighten that out. And then RY to rotate. And we're going to move it up like so. Alright, so I'm going to press 3 again and move it up around here. Straighten that up like so. Okay, so there we go. And maybe just move it in a little bit more towards the player. A to deselect. Uh, a to select everything. And then I and insert location rotation. 
Now you'll notice that we are on the Glock ADS recoil still, however all of these uh, changes apply to the other ones. So what we're going to do is press A to deselect, Control K to select the one keyframe we've just changed, then I'm going to press Control C to copy, and then I guess we'll go to frame 5, Control V to paste, and then we'll also go to our Glock ADS, go to frame uh, 10, Control V to paste as well, and so now if we update, we should be just stuck there. Cool, so that is working fine. Let's go back to the recoil here and just make sure we can sort this out. So you'll notice our arm here is being a little funny, so let's just move it down. There we go, I and insert location rotation. All right, so that should be good. So now what I'm gonna do is we'll quickly test it out. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one here, Alt-P, clear parent. Z to go into wireframe, select all the parts, and M, and move to layer 2. Uh, whoops, I just went to layer 2. M, and select layer 2. Right, there we go. 0, and Alt-Z to go into texture view. And so now if we press P, we'll get our weapon, and we should be able to shoot. We'll look down the sights, and there we go. So, there is the aiming down the sight going. Um, there is still, I think, a few problems um, with the deactivating and activating. So maybe if we go over to the script here, we can make some improvements. So over here, just for simplicity's sake, let's go over here and add another if statement that is just for the animations. So animation uh, clock. ADS. So under here, if uh, aim dot positive is equal to false and equipped, oh, equipped. I cannot spell. Equipped is equal to uh, two. Then we'll do a colon, and in here we want to deactivate this. So let's just press Control X to cut, Control V to paste, and then do another one. So if aim dot positive and equipped is equal to two, then we want to activate it. So let's cut this from here. All right, so that should be about it. We might also need to uh, add all of this in. So let's sort of copy and paste that uh, from here. Control C and then space control V to paste uh, at an and alright equipped is equal to 2 we already have so get rid of that timer is equal to 0 da 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 rest should be fine over here we'll also have to make sure and ADS is equal to true uh, not true sorry uh, 2 there we go so I'm gonna press P try it out and there we go Cool, so there we go, we have aiming down the sights going, which is great. So I think that'll be about it for this tutorial, just to try and keep it nice and simple. Next time, we'll go over getting the M24 uh, ADS going. As you can see, there's still a couple bugs here and there. So also, one more thing we might quickly do is over here, uh, delete this ADS2 part, um, just so we can deactivate it when it's also on 1. So now, that should work a lot better. Now also, one more thing we have to do is, uh, just aside from the ADS stuff, we're gonna go over to our bullet holes that we made, and we're gonna select them, go over to the physics, and choose no collision. Basically, this will allow us to put bullet holes beside each other, instead of the ray being blocked, and the bullet sort of not being captured. So let's make sure everything else is on no collision, including the blood hit as well. Um, whatever this is, yep, no collision as well. All right, cool. So just make sure you have everything here on no collision so it doesn't mess up with the other physics, but yeah. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna keep this tutorial uh, just for the Glock and then next tutorial we'll be doing the M24. 
So anyway, that's the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a like or comment down below. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more of these kind of videos if you'd like to stay updated. But apart from that, I think that'll be it for this tutorial. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.